Hello and welcome back to the channel. Are you looking to streamline your data management and make the most out of Power BI and SharePoint? In today's video, I will show you how to effortlessly save Power BI reports data into a CSV file stored in a SharePoint library using Power Automate. You can schedule a job to run it on a daily basis. So let's dive in straight away. So I have a Power BI report that has been deployed to the Power BI online service. Now, my goal is to export this data to CSV file and save it automatically in a SharePoint document library on a daily basis. So there are changes happening in this report every day, but I want to keep a log of those change into a SharePoint document library in CSV files. So this Power BI report called Sales Data, it is published already. So if I click on Publish again, I can click Save. And then if I click on my workspace, that's where it's been published at the moment. So I will click on cancel for now. So this is the report. Let's make some changes to this report. So let's say we want to filter and we want to just show the sales from Europe and North America. So then we have filtered this report further. And one more thing I want to do is I don't want to show this total. So if I go to this format your visual tab and then click on this total toggle and then I will turn it off. So now we don't see any total and we have filtered to show only the Europe and North America sales. So this is the report which I want to extract on daily basis, whatever changes happening in this sales records to keep a log of it in a CSV file. So let me go and publish this report. I will click on save and then I will select my workspace. You can select any workspace you have access to. I have already saved that report. So I will just replace that. Let's keep this Power BI desktop open for a bit. We will come back to it soon. Next, we will head over to make.powerautomate.com and create our flow. So from the left hand menu, I will click on create. I will select schedule cloud flow because we want to run the flow daily. So I will select that option. I will give this flow a name. I will call it create CSV from sales daily. I will run it at 10 a.m. and repeat every day and I will click on create. First thing we need to do is we need an action to connect Power Automate to Power BI dataset. Now click on plus sign, add an action and search for run a query against Power BI dataset. So we will select the action run a query against a dataset. Now from the left hand menu, let's select the correct workspace, which is my workspace and then it will show all the data set. I will select the sales data set from this list. And then the query text, now we need to specify the query that will pull the necessary data from the Power BI. Let's jump back to the Power BI desktop. We need to generate the query for this report. I will click on the optimize tab and then I will select performance analyzer. So once I select that, I will have this menu open on the right hand side. I will click on start recording. Now refresh the visual and once it's finished loading, you will be able to copy the query text. So now you can see the refresh completed and I can see this table. So if I click on this plus icon here, I can see an option to copy query. So I will click on copy query option. So that's the query we need to provide inside the Power Automate. Now let's head back to the Power Automate and paste the query into the query section here. So we will paste that information here. So that's our query against that data set. So we can get all the data in that report. So once this query will run, the Power Automate will return this data into a JSON format. Next, we need to save and run this because we need an output of that JSON format and example data. So when we create a parse JSON action, we can then input that sample data to create the schema for the parse JSON action. So I will click on save and then I will click on test. I will manually run this flow and click on test, run flow again and click done. Now we can see the query ran successfully and we have the output here. So if I look at the output body, this is the output of this query. So we need to copy this. So let's copy this. Let's click on this icon to copy this to clipboard. Now let's open Notepad Plus and I will enter the information here. 
So this is the whole result from that query we run against the Power BI dataset. Now I'm only interested in this data, anything after first table row. So from this bracket up to this bracket. So I will copy that information, just select it until this bracket and I will then copy that information. We will need this to pass it into our next action. So let's head back to the Power Automate flow and I will click on edit again. And now I will add a new action. I will click on add an action. And then this time I will say, we need to run pass JSON data operation action. So the content we need to get it from the schema is dynamic. So we'll select that as first table rows. And then for the schema, we need to use this use sample payload to generate schema. So I will click on that. And here we will paste the information which we just copied from that output. You can see this is a sample data. So it will generate the schema based on this sample data, which we have received in the previous step. So I will click on done. So just to recap so far, what we have done is we ran the flow once to capture the sample output and we use that to generate the schema for parsing JSON. So make sure you copy and paste the schema output into the generate schema window and you will be able to pull the data into a structured format. Now let's go ahead and create a CSV file from the output. For that, first action we need to add is create CSV table. So I will click on plus sign, add an action. So under data operation, we have an action called create CSV table. So I will select that and then the from parameter, we will select a dynamic value, the body of previous parse JSON action. So I will select that. In terms of the parameters, you can, so I can click here to see the advanced parameter and columns and click show all. And then you have two options here. You can either automatically select the columns or you can have a custom column value. So if I click on custom, here you can add a header which is the title of that column and then the value. But we are already getting all the data, so we will leave this an automatic. Finally, we need to create this file in SharePoint. So to do that, we need to add another action. I will click on plus sign, add an action. I will select create file action. We have a sales team side which has this default document library called shared document. I will select that library. So I will select the site first, which is sales team. And then the folder path, I will click on open folder. And then I will select shared document library. That's the internal name of that library. And the file name, I can say sales data. But remember, we want to run this every day. So we want to keep it unique names. Otherwise, it will try to override it or fail to copy. For that, I will just add hyphen, I will go to the regular expression to add a dynamic value. So I can add UTC now. I can format this because the date special character won't be allowed in the file name. So I can say format date time, UTC now, and then I can just do single quote and I can say day, month, and year in this format. You can also add hour, minute, and second if you're running multiple time in a day. I'm happy with that one. And I will just close the bracket and click add. I also need to add .csv, which is the format of that file. And this is important. Otherwise, the file won't be created in the right format and you won't be able to access the data. So in terms of file content, I will add a dynamic value. So the previous step was create CSV table. So the output of the CSV table, I will select that as file content. Once the actions are set, we can save the flow and test it by running it manually. So this flow will query the Power BI dataset, parse it to JSON and create a CSV file and upload it to your SharePoint library. So I will click on test and then I will select manually, click on test and run this flow and click done. Now you can see the flow ran successfully. Now if I head over to SharePoint site and if I refresh this page, we can see the newly created CSV file is in the document library with all the report data stored neatly in it. So we can see 
that these are the headers available so if, so if you don't want header in this format and you want to remove this repetitive sales table name you can do that in that create csv table instead of automatically creating columns you can manually create it and give them different names and that's it now you can successfully automate saving power bi report data into a csv file in sharepoint using power automate and you can automate this process to run daily weekly hourly whichever you prefer i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel feel free to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments below and i will get back to you don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to stay up to date to my future videos thank you for watching and see you in the next one